from race team to sports we've got, got the scoop. scoop please stand for the pledge of allegiance ready begin i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all Good morning, Centurions. Today is April 20th, and let me just start off by saying what a beautiful day, right, Carlos? Yes, it is indeed. And this is my first day ever anchoring with Santiago, a.k.a. Santi Steel. Oh, Carlos, they really didn't need to know that. But whatevs, how about we start this day off with a bit of history, man? Take it away. Well, alrighty then. On this day in history, we're going back to 2010, where a massive oil spill began in the Gulf of Mexico, where an explosion and fire aboard the Deepwater Horizon oil drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico. Approximately 50 miles off the Louisiana coast, it killed 11 people and it triggered the largest offshore oil spill in American his history. Well, Carlitos, did you also know that an estimate of 4.9 million barrels of oil has spewed out and spread through the Gulf? That is something you know every day. I know. The more you know, buddy, the more <laughs> well, you know. Well, I didn't know that. Well, the more you know, anyway, let's give these <laughs> beautiful people the news for today. All right. Perfect. So, first of all, I'd like to start off by saying that this goes out to each and every who, everyone who is a Century High School Club's advisor and member. ASB is considering hosting International Week in the foreseeable future. If enough of you want to, want to, clubs interested could sell various food items, and if your club would be interested in selling of a potential inter International Week, contact ASB Commissioner of Clubs Daniel Placencia at his email down below. Mm -hmm. He has already emailed some club advisors and supervisors, so just check your email and see if he emailed you back. So make sure to contact Daniel if you would be interested in selling food for your club. It's never too late to join something new. So with that being said, you can still join our very own race team here at Century High School, and they have something coming up, and here's a video about it. So show the clip. Now, now, now. Good morning, Centurions. I'm Michael Resendiz, and today I'm here with Mr. Newsbickle, one of the race team advisors. And uh, Mr. Newsbickle, can you tell me about tomorrow you guys and some of your race guys are going to be out. And uh, can you tell me where you guys are going exactly? Uh, yeah, we've got our uh, design review uh, at uh, the Orange County Fairgrounds at Imaginology. Uh, the cars that are going to be participating will be making presentations on, uh, the t on the team members, the cars, how they design the car, how they built the car, how w why they think they're going to win uh, for the following Energy Invitational at UCI. Okay, and uh, what can you tell me about this race that's coming up where you're preparing for? Uh, two weeks from Saturday is the race itself. It's on uh, East Pelton Street at UCI uh, where we're actually driving the cars on the streets uh, to see how far we can go in an hour on a dollar's worth of energy. Oh, wow. So this is going to be all at Imaginology? Uh, no, Friday is just the presentations, okay. and the cars will be on display, along with all of the other school projects around the county. Uh, there's art projects and photography and robotics and all that kind of stuff, but a good portion of it is uh, dedicated to the UCI Energy Invitational, where we've got our cars on display. All right, well, it sounds like you guys are going to have some fun at Imaginology and there forward. So with that being said, uh, good luck to you guys at the, at the Imaginology event and back to the studio. See you. Hey, man, that race car is kind of stoppable, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, why? Well, because I don't know if I'm hallucinating, but I think I saw that car in the new Fast and Furious movie. 
Um, well, cause Carlos, I think you're just imagining stuff because that never happened. But anyways, the race team has something coming up, and here they are with more on that. So take it away. I'm here. I'm one part. I'm here with Rudy, the leader of the race team. So Rudy, I hear you guys are gonna have a special event tomorrow. Can you tell me more on that? Yes, tomorrow is the UCI Energy Invitational Design Review at the OC Fair. Okay, so tell me why this competition that's coming up is important to Century and the race team. This competition is important because this is a time where we get to talk about our design of our vehicles. Okay, so are you expecting to get first place this year? Like, Yes, I hope we can get first place this year. Uh, this year we decided to talk about more about our vehicle design, just like we did our freshman year, instead of talking about our past awards. And hopefully we can win like we did on our freshman year this year. So there you guys have a insurance. If you guys see any race team members around, make sure to wish them luck and now back to the anchors. Well, that was cool. Do you want to know what else is cool? I mean, might as well since we're still on air. So no one is really stopping you saying anything you want, Carlos. So I guess in a way you can say you're unstoppable. <laughs> see, did, did you see what I did there? Yeah, that was lame. Anyways, well, Santi, Mr. Archuleta, Dr. Martin, and Mr. Ramirez are running a simulated video game development studio this summer where they can show you the ropes in all form of digital media. They currently have openings for um, in graphic design, animation, and game level development. No experience is needed. Let's take a quick look at what this program is all about. That was just a recap of the thing you can do. But if you would like more information, go see Mr. Archuleta, Dr. Martin, or Mr. Ramirez for more information on this free course. Wow. Now, I don't know many things, but I know that's a bargain in my books. So, Santi, prom is just around the corner. How exciting, right? I know, right? Super exciting. And um, Carl, I've been meaning to ask you, bro, like, are you going to prom? Well, Santi, I haven't found that special one to take. So I guess, you know, I ain't going. Well, if you, have, you haven't found her, then, then you're not going to find her now. So, Carlos, I mean, you still need to explain to the other centurions that are going to go, you know, tell them about the tickets. So take it away. Well, sure, Santi. Prom ticket prices have been racist. $75 without, without ASB card. Fortunately, stays at $70 for ASB card holders. Don't wait until the prices keep rising. Prom will be held at Coto Valley Country Club and will be on Friday, May 12th. For all the seniors out there, Listen up. You guys are invited to participate in our third annual college signing day on April, on Friday, April 28th. It will be held outside the attendance office during your lunch period. This event is designed to celebrate all college-bound students and their commitment to com complete their education beyond high school, whether at a traditional four-year university, a two-year college, or through an industry-recognized training program. Century is joining in with high schools across the nation to recognize students who will be pursuing their higher education. If you are undecided or are worker bound, we still want you to join us for the luncheon. This is a celebration for Austin Turin seniors. We hope you will join us for the senior event to kick off the countdown towards graduation. This week we are having an anti-bully campaign against cyberbullying or online bullies. Please drop by the Stramp at lunch to see the activities prepared and to sign the pledge. You can also come by the mornings by the main gate to sign Remember, once it said the web is fed, help them reach our goal of 1,000 of 1,000 pledges. Don't be a Hannah Baker, if you know what I mean. All right, Santi, it's time for these radical dudes to know what's coming up. Sure thing, Carlos. So if you still need some commu community hours, well, join Key Club. They meet every Friday in room 5111 with Fidel. So make sure not to miss because, you know, you need those hours. 
Well, that was very informative. So if you've seen this or behind hours, make sure to join. Also, Marcos captured a small clip of our Centurion band yesterday playing those instruments. So let's roll it. Now, Mikey, please. So here at Central High School, there's a variety of things to do, from classes you can take the whole year, to clubs you can just join. But there's one that you guys may not really hear about, which is band. So, check this out. I'm here with the band teacher. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Mark Aguero. Okay, so what is band? Um, actually, we have uh, several groups on, the, on campus. We have um, our band and our orchestra, and then also our jazz band. Um, they are the band, band and jazz band are the wind instruments, of percussion, and orchestra are the strings. And what is the purpose of band? It gives our students an opportunity to um, to to learn music, to, to learn their instrument, to improve on their instruments, um, and also to learn to play uh, in an ensemble as part of a group. So it gives them the opportunity to have a little bit of, a, of an outlet, of a creative outlet. Why should students join band? Again, it's a great opportunity to get to work with, uh, with a bunch of other students, um, kind of collaborating, doing, doing work together. Um, gives them an opportunity to learn about different styles of music and, uh, and to perform uh, in front of audiences. Um, ben, what do you guys do? Uh, we have several performances throughout the year. Again, the busiest group, especially in the fall, would be the marching band. We play at rallies, football games, and um, a couple parades around town. Um, the concert band and the orchestra, we, uh, we do several concerts a year. Um, also, we uh, perform off-campus uh, on occasion at festivals and other perform performances for the district and for the city. That was pretty cool. But with that, we, by just after that, you win it, after witnessing greatness, let's move on to sports. Softball will be playing today against Savannah, and it's home, so go out and support. Actually, um, softball plays uh, Catella tomorrow, away. And, but anyways, track will be having a meeting today at Catella, so wish them luck. Boys volleyball will be playing today against um, Magnolia, and it's away, so wish them luck. And boys tennis will be playing today against Magnolia as well. So wish us luck, because it's going to be a good game. So, Santiago, why didn't you uh, anchor a mic today? Well, there's 13 reasons why, and this is, this is just tape one. But with that being said, that's all the news we have for today. And just remember one thing, Centurions. Stay, stay Rastamon. Rastamon.